This is the Thursday workout. It is going to be the max effort deadlift workout and it's gonna last six weeks. The exercises, your A's and E's are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down. Your B is going to be your max effort exercise. Your C is going to be a supplemental exercise. The D is going to be an accessory exercise and then F is going to be a bonus exercise. And now we are going to get into the exercises themselves as well as the acute exercise variables. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a strength training program that I wrote myself using the training principles taught to me by Louis Simmons. And for those of you interested in learning more about Louis and his conjugate method, you can check out this program design lecture series playlist. It's for members only and at the time of filming this video, there are 50 videos with over 12 hours worth of program design content. New videos are going to be added regularly and it's the exact same information that I teach in my program design course. So if you're interested in either learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. And now before we get into the breakdown of the routine, I've got a couple of disclaimers. The first, if you are interested in maximizing the benefits of this training routine, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. And if you need help with your diet, you can either check out this video right up over here or check out one of the nutrition links down in the description below. And the second thing worth noting is to maximize strength and hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. And if you're not sure how to implement progressive overload, then you can check out this video right up over here. And this video, it is for members only. So once again, consider becoming a member. Now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. This is the Thursday workout. It is going to be the max effort deadlift workout and it's going to last six weeks. The exercises, your A's and E's are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down. Your B is going to be your max effort exercise. Your C is going to be a supplemental exercise. The D is going to be an accessory exercise and then F is going to be a bonus exercise. And now we are going to get into the exercises themselves as well as the acute exercise variables. But first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help it with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. Now let's get into the exercises. As stated, your A's, these are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and cool down. And for it, we are going to be supersetting the reverse hyperextension with the Nordic curl. For both of them, we are going to be doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions and resting 60 seconds in between each set. With regard to the intensity, the reverse hyperextension, you're going to use 70% intensity. So whatever you can lift for one repetition, you want to pick 70% of that weight. And the Nordic curl, we are going to be using just our body weight. With regard to the tempo, the reverse hyper, we're going to be doing a fast tempo. So you're just going to kick your legs out and let momentum carry you back down. And then for the Nordic curl, we're going to be following a 4020 tempo. That means that you are going to bring yourself down toward the ground for four seconds and then come back up for two seconds. Once you finish both sets, then we're going to move on to the max effort exercise, which is going to be the podium deadlift. Most of the sets are going to be warm up sets. Your first two warm up sets, we're going to be performing four repetitions at 40% of your one repetition maximum, a 3210 tempo, and resting 30 seconds in between each set. 3, 2, 1, 0. That means you're going to lower down to the ground for three seconds. You're going to pause at the bottom for two seconds, and then you are going to lift up for one second. Then your third warm up set, we are going to be doing three repetitions for 60 at 60% 60 intensity, resting 60 seconds in between each set. Your next warm up set, we're doing two repetitions at 75% intensity and resting 90 seconds. Then we're going to start getting into the singles. Our first single is going to be at 80%, and we're going to rest 120 seconds. And then our last single is going to be at 85% intensity, and we're going to rest 180 seconds. Then that brings us to the actual working sets. For the working sets, you're going to be doing four sets of four repetitions using 88% of your one repetition maximum and resting 180 seconds in between each set. Once those four sets have been completed, we're on to the C exercise, which is going to be our supplemental exercise. And for it, we have the prone hamstring curl. For the prone hamstring curl, we're doing five sets of six repetitions using 83% of your one repetition maximum, a 2-2-1-1 tempo and resting 180 seconds in between each set. 2 2 one, one that means you're going to be lowering your leg down toward the ground for two seconds. You're going to be pausing at that bottom position for two seconds. Then you're going to pull up for one second and you're going to hold it in that flex position for one second. Once all five sets have been completed, we're on to the D exercise, which is the accessory exercise. And for it, we've got the Swiss ball crunch. We're going to do four sets of 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum, a 2 0 2 tempo and resting 60 seconds in between each set. 2 0 2 that means that we are going to crunch for two seconds and and then we are going to go ahead and unroll for two seconds. And then we've got the E exercises. Once all four sets of those have been completed, the E, that's going to be our other exercise or our cool down. And for the cool down, we're mimicking what we did in the warm up, so no need to go over any of that stuff. And then all of the last exercise is going to be an F exercise. That's going to be your bonus exercise. For your bonus exercise, you're either going to A, pick an exercise that you're really, really good at, or B, pick an exercise that you would like to get better at, but you're currently not good at. For me, I'm good at flipping tires, so I chose the tire flip. And one repetition, you're going to do one set of as many repetitions as you can with whatever exercise you chose. 
For me, I've got a 500 pound tire, so that's the load I'm gonna be using. And when you're doing tire flips, you need to perform it explosively. So you really wanna explode through the hips. And no need to rest once we're done with that because that is it for the workout. And then next Tuesday, 2 o'clock p.m., I'm going to take you through the Friday workout. It is going to be the dynamic effort bench press workout. So be out on the lookout for that next Tuesday, 2 o'clock p.m. And if you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. And once again, if you guys are interested in either learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider checking out that playlist, that beginners, that program design lecture series playlist that I mentioned earlier. At the time of filming this video, there are 50 videos with over 12 hours worth program design content new videos are going to be added regularly and it's the exact same information that i teach in my program design course so if you're interested in either learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel consider becoming a member but that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button so we can make these types of videos in the future and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as i'm going to be uploading new videos every single day that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow